Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add an embedded form on your website. So embedded forms means that the sign up form is placed on your website like this one here, or for example, like this one here. So I'll show you how to recreate this one. I'll also show you where you can create this one. And I'll show you how to create a customized pop-up sign up form as well. Okay, so what you wanna do is go to your WordPress dashboard and then click on plugins and then click on add new and in the search plugins area you want to type opt in form or opt in forms all right so this is the one that we're looking for the fancy themes so want to click on install now and then want to click on activate and as you can see, it's here on the left-hand sidebar. So if we click on opt-in forms, okay, so for email solution, we have here different options, Aweber, iContact, MailChimp, GetResponse, and so on and so forth. We're going to link it with MailChimp. And for form action URL, it's already been added here because I have already installed this before, but I'm going to delete and re-add it. So to get your form action URL, what you need to do is go to your MailChimp, then click on list and choose the list that you want to add subscribers to. So let's say, for example, this is the list that I want to add my subscribers to. And then click on sign up forms, click on embedded forms, and then we want to click on naked and scroll down and here where it says form action we want to copy from the apostrophe here until here unfortunately though when you do that everything will be highlighted so what we need to do is just copy the whole thing and then go to simple text editor or if you've got Microsoft Word you can also just paste it onto your Microsoft Word like this and then just copy the part that you need to copy so I'm just going to copy from here until the end of the apostrophe here and copy. Then I go back to my dashboard and I paste that in here. Then I scroll right to the beginning of this URL area. I'm going to type HTTP colon just before the slash here. Okay and then we want to save changes. After we've linked our MailChimp to the embedded signup form, we can then click on form. And now we can edit the form here. And there are different designs that you can choose from. For example, you've got this first one. You've got this one here, which is even simpler. You've got this option here. And you've got this option this option and you've got this one here as well. So my favorite is this one here. It's very bold, looks professional and it's very eye catchy. So if we click on style your form, we can change the color. So maybe make it slightly more gray. And whatever changes that you apply will show straight away. So that's pretty cool. You can change the text here. so. And as you can see, it's on two lines here, so you can also change the size of the text. Yep, that's okay. We can also change the color of this title. Let's make that um, blue, for example. Okay, so that looks pretty good. You can um, change what's written here. I've got here join over a thousand visitors who are receiving our newsletter and get 10 healthy plant-based recipes for free. So that's what I'm offering. Now here we can just put your name, your email. So it's this area here where they add their email and name. For here we can just say subscribe now, which is more of an incentive. The hate spam bit, we can make that white. I think that's a bit more obvious. So people can see clearly that you're not going to spam them or anything like that. So that looks pretty good. You can save changes. 
So another modification that's really important is the placement here. So form placement, where you want the form to show. So we can choose to display this form at the end of our blog post. So after every blog post, which I usually do, and on our pages if we want. So I'm not going to display it on my pages. I'm just going to display it after every blog post. So that's fine. So once you've selected what you want, just click on Save Changes. OK, fantastic. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I go back to my blog post, let's have a look. OK, so here's the customized embedded sign-up form that we've just added to our website. And I think it looks really good. So let's try it. So I'm going to put here, OK, subscribe now. So this is my uh, Gmail email address, Green Papa. I'm just going to confirm my subscription now. Verify, subscribe to list. So my subscription has been confirmed. And this is the free 14-day meal plan that I'm giving away. So when people click on the link here, they get the free meal plan. And everyone's happy. <laughs> so that's how it works, really. If I go back to our list, there you go, greenpapa at gmail.com has been added. As for this embedded sign-up form on the right-hand sidebar of my website, I will link the tutorial down below of the person who created this embedded form for me on Fiverr. Okay, so let's add another plugin. And this is going to be a subscriber pop-up. So what we want to do is go to plugins here, click on add new. And then here in the search plugins area, you want to type chimpmate. I really like this plugin. It's very versatile and professional looking. So you want to click on install now and activate. All right. And then you want to scroll down. So here it is, Chimpmate WordPress MailChimp Assistant. Click on settings. So to get the API key, what you need to do is go to your MailChimp. And then here where your name is, click on the arrow pointing down click on account, click on extra and API key. And then you can click on create a key if you haven't already created a key. So I'm just going to click on the first one, but click on the one that you've just created, copy it, go back to your WordPress dashboard and then paste the key in here. Click on next and confirm. Voila, so that's good. So here for custom forms, make sure that form one is selected. And then your list that you want subscribers to be added to. I've got here newsletter two, Natural Vita, so that's fine. So here you can choose if you want a double opt-in. If you turn this off, then somebody is immediately subscribed to MailChimp. And for this part here, once they subscribe to your list, they get either redirected to the MailChimp message that MailChimp usually sends, or you can redirect them to a specific URL that you've created, like a thank you page. Also, you can choose to open that page in a new tab if you want. So let's do that. And I'm going to check the standard message that MailChimp will send them, which is my free recipe book and update options. Okay, so the next thing is click on theme. And these are the different themes that you can choose from. This one looks okay, but my favorite is the Leo. So if we click on the pencil looking icon and then live editor. So this is the Leo theme, which I like very much. It's very sleek and looks professional. Close editor. Now we can edit our custom message. I've written here, subscribe to our list. Let's make that capital letters. Okay. You can also change the color of the text here, subscribe to our list. If you want this to be a different color, I'm going to leave it as is. You can change the message here. I've written, get raw, honest wisdom and 15 healthy plant-based recipes for free. So that's the message that I've got there. 
You can also personalize your text box so you can change the font, you can change the size, the style, the color, the background color. So there's a lot of things that you can modify here and play around with. I'm just going to leave it as is and scroll down. You can personalize your button. So I've written here get access now to my recipe book, but you can also write here subscribe now, subscribe, whatever you want to write. And I think that's pretty much it. Now let's update options. Okay. And next we're going to select Lightbox. Again, make sure that Form 1 is selected and Leo. Scroll down. So here where it says Behavior, this part is important. If you'd like the pop-up box to appear one second after inactivity, you can check this box here. Also, if you want it to appear after 50% of the page scroll, then you can check this box. And if you want it to reappear after one day using cookie, then you can also check this box here. So I'm just going to check all of these, but you know, feel free to modify as you like. And then we're going to update options. So now let's have a look at this uh, pop-up box. Okay, so I'm just going to hover over my website with the mouse for one second. There you go. So here is the pop-up form. Get access now. Subscribe to our list. And you've got that message here as well. Now this is the light version, so if you upgrade to the pro version, then there's a lot more things that you can modify here. So you can make the form longer, you can add their first name and things like that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to YouTube and website better. And don't forget to check out the full MailChimp tutorials down below in the description box if you want to know how to do it all thoroughly. Thank you and bye-bye.